Okay, new year, new River Copilot, here we go. If you haven't seen these before, this is where I share the GoPro pod footage of myself kayaking down a river and I talk you through why I choose certain lines over others and I give you some tips along the way on how to hit those lines. So, here we go, we're at the Socha Cataract, one of the most amazing sections of river in the world, one of my favourites. It's got countless sections and rapids the whole way down, but the one that I enjoy the most is the Socha Cataract, and we're dropping in now. It's about 37 on the gauge, which I think is a really, um, really good level for your first time down this section of river. Okay, we're dropping down now into the first move, and what I like to do is to go on the left-hand side, off this booth, with the righty stroke, and to, as I'm doing it, to pull myself back over to the middle of the river and then land in that fast water and to continue going down. From here we can go left or right of this big rock but I like to do this this um, this turn around the rock on the left. I really like how it feels when I ride over these boils behind the rock and then I cut back into the fast water and keep on going. A couple of little waves now as we look ahead and get ready for our first real move of the Socha Cataract which is this right hand turn. So. We're just staying smooth and chilled and relaxed and then when we see the water turn into the right and the rocks are sort of blocking our view of where it's going, we know that we're going to have to get ready to make our right turn. So coming around here, pulling up, pulling over to the right and just following the water around. And uh, that little wave there that I cut to the right of is surprisingly powerful. Like so many pieces of this river, it's really powerful. And uh, in a half slice kayak like I'm in, that thing can like really really like really mess with you and put you vertical or upside down it's it's surprisingly powerful okay and then here we're coming around this corner and we're looking for the center of the river and we're looking for these rocks in the middle and we're looking for the water falling off to the side of them and that's the place that we want to be and we want to boost over there with with some speed and pull a nice booth off off that um, water booth off the side of the rock really nice move really good one to hit that's what you should be aiming for purely because that's the nicest move down that rapid, but also because the rocks on the right hand side of that rapid are pretty nasty and you want to avoid those. Um, I do think even if you miss that booth, if you're moving from right to left throughout that rapid, even if you miss the booth, you'll be fine. Um, I wouldn't make a big deal out of it, but it is good for you to know that like many places on this river, the, the moves are really clean, but the rocks are really dirty and you want to avoid them at all costs in so many, in so many places on that river. So we're landing now into that water. You can see how powerful it is with the tail of the ripper just getting pulled down and I'm, I'm feeling it out and dealing with it. And then here you can go left or right of this big rock, both are fine lines, but I like this one on the left the most because I, I really like the speed transition there. You see the kayak planing up. I love how that feels. One final booth here and then the river mellows out and that's a characteristic of this river you know like it really it's it's really chill then it'll start building and it'll get pretty big and then it'll quieten down and chill out again and then build and pick up again uh, which is i think part of what makes it so flowy and nice and here we're just cruising i'm splashing the lens of my gopro trying to keep it clear from water droplets for you guys and i'm letting phil pick up speed and get ahead of me because it's nice to have some space before this next one he's cutting into this eddy here and I'm gonna do the exact same. You can go direct, but I think this rapid goes way nicer from right to left. Um, when you drop into it with that right to left momentum, just, just feel out your edges, feel what you've got to do, and um, just, just relax and, and sort of just, just surf it down almost. Um, that, that term surf it down makes way more sense when the river's higher and there's more of a pillow off those rocks to surf down. Um, you definitely don't want to go into the rocks on the right hand side again, so right to left momentum and avoid it. Okay, and then the river's going to make this right hand turn here and we're going to take a big lefty and pull ourselves over it and away from that rock on the left, sticking out in the main flow. Here it chills out into a big flat water pool before the next rapid. Um, this rapid is one of the most playful ones on the section. There's nothing really too bad going on here. You can catch a lot of eddies, you can surface top wave. I like to kick flip it and yeah, this, this one is just nothing but joy and mostly waves at this level. And then here we're dropping down into another flat water pool before we drop down into what I would say is like the main section. Um, we're on the lead in right here. The main thing is to stick with that fast flowing water and not to be in all that confused water that you see in this rapid. 
Um, you can go left or right of this rock at the bottom, but I like to stay in the middle left until I see the rock and then push back to the right hand side of it. That's just because I like the line more and I think it sets me up better for this move. Um, but both are fine. Here, you can see Phil getting out in front of us and pushing to the right hand side. This is a really classic move on Masocha and he's going off the right hand side um, of this booth with a lefty stroke and he's landing with his nose pointing back to the left and you land in this like pillowy confused water and then you get shot out and fired back into the middle of the rapids. Really cool line and you can scout it very easily from river right. I'm going to show you the center line now just because you can't scout it as easily. I do think this has changed over years and I remember it being much simpler and much more straightforward and several times um, when we showed up to the Socha for this session when it was higher, I got lit up by this thing and back looped and was upside down all sorts of stuff until I figured it out. So what you've got to do regardless of the level is tuck behind this rock in the middle and really get your nose up and onto that water. You have to gap out away from the bottom of the hole. If you try and do like a push-pull, like hoppy bounce movement as you would do on, some, on another sloping booth like this, like on Champion's Killer, then you, you don't gap out and away from it and you sort of just set yourself up for the perfect, uh, most aggressive back, back loop of your life. So it's really good here to have some speed, to be coming from the right to left and to really pull out and get your nose onto that, onto that water behind the rock and then it's, you're shot through there and you're, you're firing into the next part of the rapid, it's really sick. Keeping our speed and we're driving over this little wave, looking out for that rock on the right that I saw a tap there. And then we're getting ready to pull a nice big righty booth over this ledge hole. This is certainly a spot on the river where I stop and I set safety and I wait for the rest of the crew because that, that hole, especially when it's higher, is um, one of the most stressful parts of the river. Um, so it's definitely good to set safety there and be ready. But I'm, I'm only kayaking with Phil today and I watched him crush the line right in front of me. So we're gonna keep going. Again, the river chills out here after that section and before it starts to build and pick back up again. And we come into one of the few rapids where people could agree on the river name or could agree on the rapid name. This is Bergauf. I have no idea what that means. Um, but it's a really cool rapid and again my line on this one has changed so I used to stick on the river left and push back in behind the wave hole and go all the way to river right um, at the last second but now what I do is I stay out in the middle right of the river going over these waves booth this little ledge hole and then I'm landing and I'm in the and then then I'm in the right spot already for the next part of this rapid and at this level it's just a green shoot down a green tongue down when it gets higher this is definitely a bit of a chunkier hole and when it's like really on the high end of things this is this is one of the gnarliest spots on the river and something that I portage often because I'm just not willing to get it wrong, get stuck in that hole and then have to swim down the rest of the section at high water. I think it would be terrible. Um, but at this level it's nothing to worry about. Again from here the river chills out, we're just picking our lines in between the rocks here trying to find the water. And then we're dropping down now into this beautiful long rapid. And this booth at the top can be a little bit tricky to hit at this level and I think it's honestly easier when it's higher. What I like to do is to come in with a little bit of right to left um, and that generally sets me up pretty nicely to go straight over the top of it and land on top of the water and have an easy time setting up for the next booth. Here, I really wish I'd have thought to swap to my left blade because it, it obviously goes better with a lefty sweep over this next hole. For whatever reason, I stuck on my right blade and it works fine. It's just, it's just not 100% how I would want it to look. And um, that bothers me because I'm obsessed and a perfectionist. But anyway, little bit of right to left momentum there, making sure you don't go too far left over that, over the, over that booth. Um, coming over the top of it, landing and getting ready to pull something over this next hole. It is a diagonal, so if you get stuck in it, you will flush out because it's diagonal and it's pushing from right to left. And then from here, we're staying with the main flow of water as always and we're just moving around and trying to find our lines around the rocks. At this level, nothing too much to worry about here. Everything's open, everything's fine. You can, uh, you can see me looking back here and just trying to find a, a better line around the rocks for the next lap. And then here we're coming into such a cool booth, right? So 
if you go off the side of the booth, then you go land into that fast water and get shot towards that rock, which is not a big deal, but it's not what we want. So instead, we're going to go straight over the top of the booth and really think about trying to land behind it in that slow water. And then we're set up really nicely and we've got a lot of time before the next move. This is an important little move to get right. So you can see the water is hitting that rock on the right and it's pushing to the left. And on the left there, especially when it's higher, there's a chunky ledge hole and some, as always with this river, some really bad rocks behind it. So we want to avoid that side of the rapid. To do that, we're going to come in with some left to right and cut over that current that's trying to push us left, you know? So we're, we're going over the top of it with some left to right momentum. And then here, this little move, you can choose, pick and choose how much you want to play with this, with this rock booth. I like to try and get as much, I, I like to try and get as high on top of it as I possibly can. Um, but you can, you can pick and choose as you want to do. And uh, when it gets even higher, I run all the way right and avoid it and just don't, don't even mess with this rapid. Um, but this is a really nice move to hit. Some left to right momentum, up and over the rock, landed on the right hand side of the rapid. And then we're looking for this nice booth over this wave hole. Here, you can stay on the river right hand side of the rapid and it's all open. I try and hit this booth and I pull too early and then I get subbed out and scrubbed through it and it's rubbish and I'm so mad at myself, but I'll get it right on the next lap. Here is one of the best taily spots on the river. Um, we're going to hit a few tailies here and then we're going to set ourselves up for the rapid. We're going to be on the right hand side and we're going to wait and then pull ourselves over with a lefty on that eddy line. Um, the water behind this move is pretty confused because it's fast water hitting like slow deep water and it, it bubbles up and it gets really weird there and it can mess with you but it's not too big of a deal. Just feel out your edges and, and keep on going. And then we're dropping into the final rapid of the Socha Cataract. This is a really cool one. So we're gonna make sure that we don't cut too far on the inside of this little turn here around the rock because we're gonna get stuck in the eddy and have to come out of it with no speed on the confused water. To avoid that, we're gonna stay out a little bit away from it and then we're gonna tuck in behind it. And this rock in the middle here when the river's high is one of my favorite moves out there to just blast up and fly over that thing. Around 60 on the gauge, it's, it's a really good level for that. At this level, it's too low and we're gonna avoid it. So we're gonna squeak over to the left-hand side, turn around it, pull over for a booth, land, smack and that's it we've just done the such a cataract which is, which is one of the best sections in the entire world I absolutely love it this is a really really good level for your first time down it around 37 40 on the gauge my favorite level is 60 and um, i've been in there well over 100 maybe close to 150 and it's a completely different river and what i love most about this river and this section is how cruisy it is and how good it feels when it gets really high there's like two or three chicken lines that I take and there's like one I portage Bergalf when it's high and it just sort of changes the whole style and flow of the river for me so yeah I my favorite level is 60 I think that's the best I think anywhere around the 40 mark is is sick for your first time out there and it's still amazing when it's high it's just a different river and um yeah I really hope you enjoyed this one I hope that it was helpful to anyone that wants to run this river or or maybe hit some different lines on it and yeah, cheers for watching team. Let me know in the comments what river I should do next. And yeah, I hope everyone has a sick year on the water and I hope to see some of you out there.